What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you an update from Bungie on what's going on with faction rallies and half an excuse on their behalf as to why it's in a complete mess. So if you don't know, faction rallies after the Curse of Osiris had changed a little in terms of the loot it offers. We couldn't be grinding the same old faction rallies month after month for the same old crappy loot. So they added changes, good changes in terms of armour ornaments which I think are actually great in almost every aspect, the grind for them, the uniqueness of them and so forth. They also, so we thought, added new weapons into the loot pool as well as ghost shells, ships and so forth. Well the latest faction rallies event is now live and it's here and we noticed straight away that the new weapons are not a part of the loot pool from these faction rally engrams. Many people put this down to a bug on their behalf, one which we hope they would resolve over the coming days, giving us reason to actually go out there and grind tokens to get some of these engrams which reward these weapons. Now I made a video about this earlier and I said in that video I actually don't think this is a mistake on Bungie's behalf, this was intended. These weapons not being within the loot pool is meant to be. Bungie have now dropped a statement on this matter, so let's read it. Season 2 Faction Rally Rewards With the release of Curse of Osiris, each faction has received 5 new weapons. These weapons become available over the course of the season and cannot be earned through faction engrams immediately. In the first Faction Rally of Season 2 this week, there is a new auto rifle available as the winner's offering. No new faction weapons are available through faction engrams. In the second Faction Rally of this season, the winner's offering is updated to a new weapon, Additionally, the previous winner's offering and an additional weapon are added to faction engram rewards. The final faction rally of the season will follow this functionality. The winner's offering will be updated to a final weapon that has yet to be featured. Previous winner's offerings will be added to the faction engram rewards alongside an additional weapon. This brings a total to 4 weapons within the faction engram and the final winner's offering for factions to compete for over the course of the event. So basically what they're doing here people is drip feeding us content. So over the course of what will be another 2 or 3 faction rally events, these weapons will become available as the winner's offering for that faction if that faction wins that rally event. 1 or 2 per faction per event. Factions that don't win, they will be thrown into the loot pool of that faction's engram in the following faction rallies event. This to me is some BS. I have played this faction rally event for literally just over 3 hours. So far I have got everything I want. All armors, all ornaments as well as all available weapons. And I know this is the case for most people. So within the next faction rally event and the remaining of this one, there is actually no real reason for you to play except for that one weapon you may have missed within the prior faction rally event in the case of your faction not winning and one added extra weapon too. What I wanted to do over the course of these faction rally events, I wanted to choose one faction this time around on all of my characters and farm that faction until I've got everything and then mix it up next time and farm another faction. I can't do this now because I'll be spending most of my time aligned with one faction chasing a certain weapon I missed. This indeed adds to the concept of them drip feeding us content. It isn't a major deal breaker, to be honest did we really expect anything more? Honestly, I didn't. To tell you guys the truth, I wasn't even aware of such weapons until I did a little research, but it adds to the point of them being lazy with releasing content for us to do and grind for. I mean, for the next two or three faction rallies, there is literally going to be one weapon for us to chase, and that's the winner's weapon. And with a 1 in 3 chance of you actually getting that weapon, it would just make the whole experience one pointless to take part in. Where the hell did it go so wrong? I have absolutely no idea. Surely, surely people, it can't be this bad. Someone wake me to flip up. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like, it really does help me out. Tell me what you think about this down below within that comment section. Does it bother you? Does it not? Let me know. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.